Hi dancers, how are you doing? I wanted to share this precious book with you. It's called The Silver Slippers. Once there was a little girl who dreamed of being a ballerina. She longed for a day when she would dance on stage before a large audience. But until that day came, she danced before a small one. So I hope you can see she's dancing for her dolls and her stuffed animals. And I think that's a really good idea. Twice a week, the little girl took ballet lessons after school. She practiced at class and she practiced at home. Ballet posters on the walls of her room inspired her. But no matter how hard she tried, she never could get into exactly the same position as the one that was on the poster. But she's working really hard and she has a pretty talented cat, I think, as well. In class, she was never quite in step. The little girl was frequently discouraged. Now, I think she looks really like she's doing a great job. Personally, she's working very hard. One day, the teacher told the class that there was going to be a ballet recital. I haven't decided who the prima ballerina, who the, will be the prima ballerina to lead the other dancers, she said. The prima ballerina, thought the little girl. I would really like to be the prima ballerina, but then she remembered her last practice session at the bar. Oh, I could never be the prima ballerina, not with the way I dance now, she thought. She, she seems very discouraged. That afternoon, the little girl hurried home and told her mother about the ballet recital. She told her about her longing to be the star ballerina. I think you can do it, said her mother. You just have to practice, maybe even a bit more than the other girls. You have to decide what you want. The little girl thought about what her mother had said, and she decided that she really did want to be the prima ballerina. So there she is telling her mother. Her mom is being very encouraging. The next day, while the little girl was practicing, her mother came into the room. I have something for you, she said. She handed the little girl a small white box that was tied with a beautiful silver bow. The little girl untied the bow and opened the box. There, resting on a small cushion of velvet, was a pair of tiny silver slippers on a silver chain. These silver slippers are special, said the girl's mother. They will help you become the prima ballerina by reminding you of what you want. The little girl put on the beautiful necklace and looked in the mirror. The silver slippers glistened in the light. She wondered how a necklace was going to help her become a prima ballerina. Let's find out. For the next few weeks, the little girl worked very hard. Every spare moment, she practiced. When her friends played outside, she practiced. When they went to the movies, she practiced. And all the time she practiced, she wore the silver slippers. So there she is. Her friends are outside playing and she's inside practicing. Days went by and the little girl danced better. Weeks passed and the little girl continued to improve. Very nice work there. The teacher saw how hard the little girl had practiced and how much better she was dancing. And when it was time to choose the lead dancer, the teacher chose the little girl. The little girl rushed home after class to tell her mother the news. Her mother gave her a big hug. I knew you could do it, she said. So there she is telling her mother all about the good news. For the next two weeks, the little girl continued to practice. The big day arrived. The little girl was excited and a bit nervous. After supper, she went to her room to get dressed. She put on a pink tutu and pink ballet shoes and around her neck, she wore her silver slippers. Her mother tied her hair with a satin bow. That night, the school was aglow with lights when the little girl and her mother arrived. The little girl had never seen the school lit up like that. 
So the school is all ready for the recital and she has her hair and a nice bun and she's ready for the recital. All the ballerinas were a flutter backstage. Most of them were already in their costumes and putting on their makeup. The little girl's mother helped her redden her lips and put pink on her cheeks. Looking in the mirror, she thought she looked like a ballerina, but she didn't feel like one. What if I miss a step? What if I trip on the stage? What if I just can't do it? The little girl thought to herself. Now the little girl heard the strains of music coming from below the stage and the performance was about to begin. And it was then that something unexpected happened. So there she is getting ready and she's not feeling so great. She's feeling discouraged. While still in the wings, the little girl had a chance to look out at the audience. She became frightened. How can I dance in front of all those people? She thought. I know I have dreamed about dancing on stage, but I did not think I was going to feel this nervous. Now there she is. That is a lot of people to dance in front of, but sometimes Miss Kelly thinks it's okay to be nervous. Sometimes you, I think maybe you actually dance a little bit better when you have a little nervousness. Then she remembered the silver slippers and what her mother had said. These are special slippers, she thought. When I see them, I remember what I want to do. I do want to be a ballerina. I have worked hard and practiced. I have danced these steps before, many times before, and I know that I can do it again. So the slippers are just reminding her of all her hard work and that she can do it. Just then the piano sounded her entrance. The little girl took a deep breath and began to dance out onto the stage. She started a little shaky, but with each twirl and spin, she became more confident. What's more, she never missed a step. The curtain fell and applause filled the auditorium. Now there she is. Now just remember, if you ever make a mistake, it's totally okay. The world will still turn. That's what I always say. So don't ever be afraid of making mistakes. After the performance, the teacher came to the stage and presented the little girl with roses. For the most improved ballerina who became the star ballerina, she said, the audience cheered, especially the little girl's mother. So there she is getting her roses at the end of her performance. And from then on, the little girl wore those silver slippers every time she practiced. And on the days when she was learning a new step or one that was especially difficult, she practiced even harder. And it was true, the silver slippers were special. They reminded her of what she really wanted, which was to dance always her very best. And there she is in a beautiful passe position, retire position. And that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this story time with me. I miss you.